Good morning and welcome to the office. There's actually a little bit of dry weather outside today but I'm not playing because I've been working. I'm not editing a video because I've got nothing to edit at the moment. Uh, more about that later. But the Open is over and uh, we have ourselves a worthy winner in Xander. He found the missing piece of the jigsaw down the back of the sofa and he's won two this year, which is quite remarkable when you consider how much talent there is out there. What's nice to see is, on the last day, so many golfers moving forward. 69, 68s, Rose with a 67 and Xander with a remarkable 65. He didn't really put a foot wrong, did he? All you can say is tip your hat and say, well done. Except that a lot of people can't say well done. Now I don't know if you were following it on YouTube or not. In the build up to the Open, they always had, uh, there was a stream from Live on the Range and the BBC on their news website. They also, in the sports section under Golf, they also have a have your say so that people can write things in there. And there's certainly a football element come into golf over the past few years with the invention of the internet. The thing that should have been wonderful but has actually given idiots a voice. So you get an awful lot of people, keyboard warriors, writing stuff that is pretty vile to be honest. I mean, here's a typical one from Saturday evening. I mean, what do you think of that? Yeah, I just don't understand it. But it's making golf forums not a pleasant place to be. And um, I certainly won't be bothering in the future. But you also get it in comments on YouTube. But that hatred of another person that they've never met and know nothing about is very much a football type of thing. And it's kind of like spoiling the sport a little bit. I mean, since I started on YouTube, I've had my fair share. And on here, you can just delete it and get rid of people. But out in the real world, you can't delete people. You know, going round with this um, seems to attract people who have a desire to shout something out. And uh, very recently, I played a course where there was a shout and I had to drop a ball and hit a second shot because I had been put off. It's sad when that happens, but it does happen. And you know, you get the American comments about our courses. You know, if I had a pound for every time I'd heard or read an American comment saying that the open venues look like a cow field or anything similar along those lines, I'd be richer than Elon Musk. Right, why don't I have any videos to edit? Well, I haven't been playing golf. It's really that simple. This year is turning into a washout again. I've got a list of courses I want to visit. It's not going to happen. There's a gentleman up north of Manchester who keeps inviting me up. And it's just not going to happen. You know, I need time, money and weather. Uh, and I always seem to be short of time, money, and definitely weather. This time of year I would normally be playing three times a week and practicing once, or if I was my game was a little off I'd be playing twice a week and practicing twice until I got it better. At the moment I'm playing about once every ten days and not practicing at all. When you look at the weather forecast and it says that Saturday and Sunday are going to be a washout, there isn't a great deal of motivation to go and practice on a Wednesday evening. When I'm going to film, I do practice. You know, I practice up to 
uh, the day that I'm going to go out and film and then on the day I'll warm up properly and I'll do my chipping and I'll do my putting and I'll try and put on as good a show as I possibly can. I prepare myself for a video shoot like I might prepare myself for the club championship and uh, well this year I just can't. I've been doing a lot of heavy work about the house for months moving tons of soil and tons of gravel and getting rid of tons of dirty old horrible block paving that was put in by the previous owner of this house and I'm too old for doing that. I hurt afterwards for days and days so the golf is rubbish. Now I'll answer a couple of questions. I was asked do you lose golf balls? Yes I do. I played with my two sons at the Herefordshire three weeks ago. I had the lefts big time. I hit seven drives straight left and I lost three balls on that occasion. I'm struggling to keep the face open when I'm trying to hit a fade. You probably see that. And because I'm struggling to do that then I go too far the other way and then instead of hitting the fade I zoom then I'm off the planet to the right on, on a different golf hole. So the game is garbage. Another question I was asked was how often do I take the camera out? How many times do I play without a camera? Well I've played 19 rounds of golf this year so far. Well, it's the middle, it's 22nd of July and I've played 19 rounds of golf and only four of those without the camera. And I've got a holiday coming up, a golf holiday. So something's got to change. I need to get out there practicing, I need to get out there playing, I need to get back to playing three times a week and practicing once. And I can't do that with the camera. Um, I've got plenty of places I want to visit, not going to happen. I've got plenty of videos I want to make, not going to happen. Basically this thing is going to get switched off, put in a corner and left alone until I've got my game back, whenever that might be. So this is goodbye for a little while. Shut the channel down and concentrate on actually playing golf. And I've made another decision as well. The last two holidays my videos didn't get many views. 300, maybe 400. So I'm taking this on holiday with me again. Uh, I'm going to play 13 or 14 rounds of golf. I may make some other videos as well, out and about, while I, on the days that I'm not playing golf. I'll put all those videos out, and if there's no real uptick in reaction to those videos, either views, if the likes are miserable as normal, if I'm only getting three comments, then, quite frankly, I will hang up my hang up my camera put it on eBay and get out of Dodge I'm not making any money out of this you know a typical let's say a typical day out so I go to Wales uh, and back so that is maybe uh, maybe about let's, let's call it about 18 pounds in fuel I pay a green fee 30 pounds uh, I spend money on food and drink, what was that, 30, 40, so I'm, I'm spending £55-ish to make a video that will make me £5. You know, every time I play away, I lose a lot of money. And that's another reason for perhaps not going up to Manchester to get out of bed at the crack of dawn, drive for three hours, use a lot of diesel, have a lunch, play a round of golf, pay a green fee, relax afterwards and then jump on the motorway and drive for another three hours and spend another lot of money on diesel uh, only to 
make a video that um, I earn about five pound for. So um, yeah, I'm right on that very fine line between being stubborn and keeping going or just quitting. And I know there'll be some people in the comments who will, who will say, oh, I watch all your videos all the way through to the end, don't quit. But you are a very, very tiny minority. For me, really, to make this pay, I need 10,000 views per video, not 400. But I've given it a go when a lot of people said I couldn't do it. And I've had a small amount of success when a lot of people thought I would fail and fall on my arse. And I think some of the abuse that I get from people I know in this local area at local golf clubs is because I've done something and they haven't. Uh, but it still grates a little bit. You know what they say, those that can do and those who can't criticise. Well, I keep running into a lot of people who can't. So, you know, the, the motivation to go out and do it is, isn't there. But, I've got a holiday coming up. I'm going to get out of this room because I won't be editing in the evening because I won't have any videos to edit. And I, you know, there's nothing worse than being sat in here on a sunny evening when you should be playing golf but you're editing for five hours. You know, you finish work at four. I swing my chair around at this screen and I'm still here at half, at half past nine. I'm reviewing the, the video and then wondering if I can get it uploaded to YouTube before I go to bed when I should be playing golf or at least practicing. I think the worst thing that has hurt my game in the last 10 to 15 years is the driving range where you pay a lot of money for a bucket of a hundred crap balls and hit it off a crap nylon mat when I'd rather hit 200, 250, 300 balls good quality balls that I've found in the rough off grass and the fact that I can go to the end of the practice ground where the wind is in the correct direction for me and I can practice with the ball ever so slightly above my feet because I always found that was a good thing for me and, and hit hundreds of balls. Anyway, bye for now and I have no idea when I will be back. There's two videos coming up after this, next Friday and the Friday after. And then after that, I have no idea when there'll be another. Cheerio. 93 gap wedge. Thanks for that.